years ago, I lived out in the country and and I was on an island called Amherst Island. And the minister asked me if I wanted to join the Presbyterian Church. And I said, well, I'm not exactly religious, but I went a couple of times and he had very open concept and very open mind around the gospel. But the truth was I was gaining weight because the only reason I went was for the pie. In, uh, they had five kinds in the fellowship room afterwards, and there were no other desserts allowed. I think someone brought a carrot cake once and they were excommunicated. Pretty sure that I heard him say body of crust when he was holding up the Eucharist. So anyway, I stayed home. My husband took the kids. And one day after church, my husband says, the Presbyterian ladies are coming. And I'm like, what are they trying to convert me or something? And I got all nervous and I phoned my friend and she goes, just tell them you're a pagan. Oh, that's going to help me fit in. So they come in, they're very nice. And I just give them yes and no answers because I'm just afraid it's like the Jehovah Witnesses. I'm going to get converted or something. And then I see that they are holding a lemon meringue pie. And this was a pie that wasn't made from scratch. There was nary a lemon pit. You wouldn't have been picking any of those out of your teeth. And there were these meringues that were perfect brown nipples. It, I, there was a piece of spittle hanging out of my mouth. And before you know it, I'm confessing my sins like the Catholic that I am. And I'm like, oh, my mother was Catholic. My dad was Protestant. She was Irish. It was orange and green, which on a paint palette makes a bloody mess. And I look up and they're backing away. And as they storm out of my house and the gravel is, you know, being spit up on the driveway, they take off. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, I made such a fool of myself. And then I look down and they had left the pie. And that's my religious experience with pie. A lemon pie that can cause a conversion 